Hi Sagittarius, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of January the 30th to February the 6th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I can give that to you in a private reading. So I welcome and invite you to go to my website and that is www.brendatero, spelled T-A-R-O, dot info. See you soon, my friend. Sagittarius, we start our week off with a fire card and you have been given the six of fire. And fire cards have to do with uh, setting our creative juices into motion and risk taking, adventure and self development. And this has been coming up a lot in the other readings as well. And this is a great card. This is good news coming into you. And it's like victories happened. It's all good news and it's coming on its way. And when you receive it, people are going to notice a total change in you. You're going to be so much more at ease, uh, so much more confident and so much happier. Um, it, to the point where uh, some of you uh, perhaps have been working on a project or uh, something and you have uh, you're going to receive an award for it or you're going to receive a diploma or a certificate for this. Ten of Fire for Tuesday, another fire card. So this is telling me that, again, this came up in the last reading too. And I do shuffle these cards all up really well in the deck. So this is obviously meant for you, Sagittarius, as well. That you're working very hard. Some of you are working so hard you're wearing yourself out. And you're going to start getting stressed out. And what this is saying is that you need to accept the help from others that are there around you right now. And they're there. You can allocate some of these jobs to them. Because if you don't, you're going to get out of balance and you're going to have stress-related issues that can lead to health concerns. On Wednesday crowning your week, you've been given a major card, Sagittarius, and you've been given the sun. And the sun's all about a wonderful time. It's about ha a happy outcome. It's about brilliant new ideas coming in and that can lead to success for some of you. You need to have confidence in yourself right now. This is also a great card that refers to knowing that you're on the right path and accepting that right now. And it's, it's about joy and public recognition and vibrant physical and emotional health. Great card. On Thursday, you've been given the night of Earth. And Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, often our jobs and careers and how we bring that uh, currency and abundance into our lives. But it can have to do with the ecosystem, Mother Earth, and our closest circle, which is our family members. But this is about work, and it's time to buckle down because it shows me that there's something that you should have been doing either at your place of employment or something you're working on, and you've kind of put it on the back burner. And you need to honor your previous commitments, but you're going to be able to get it done. You've been, you've been procrastinating and putting this off because you just thought it was too much to do. But know that this is the card that shows me your guardian angel with their hand on your back saying, we can get it done together. High Priestess, major card for Friday. So this is all about silence is golden and keeping your keeping your keeping your information that you're carrying with you in, in within yourself and maybe perhaps it's your emotions and feelings and also your dreams. Right now they're saying don't let these out uh, in the open just yet. Be patient. Everything that you need to know will be revealed to you at the right time. So consider carefully what it is before you start acting upon it. Listen to your own intuition and be patient right now. The Hermit, another major card. So you have four major cards here in this reading. The Hermit for Saturday, and that's about spending time on your own, alone time, which is necessary right now. And being in your own company and listening to your own inner voice and what it is that you want. And often we can find that when we take ourselves to meditation. And they're saying that that pretty much is essential right now for some of you. It's also about spiritual teaching and you being able to impart some of your wisdom that you're learning on your path and sharing that wisdom with others. It's about self-discovery and you perhaps becoming a mentor. Strength. That came up in the last reading as well for Sunday. And this is about inner strength. This is about creating greater inner, inner strength within yourself and, and you being able to let judgment go and release any harsh judgments. 
Uh, this is about you being strong and understanding that you can be strong but still be forgiving and still be doing being be compassionate. So if you're dealing with any problems this week, remember honey is better than vinegar. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card, Ascended Masters, and they gave you this peace offering. So this does tell me that there may be some problems. You have to be strong and uh, um, keeping things to yourself. But in general, it was a good reading for some of you for this week. Please keep in mind that if there are any little minor conflicts, and pick your battles wisely, okay, that a peace offering is so much better. So either initiate an apology or accept an apology this week so that your life and your, and your week can move on in a happier part on your path. I wish you a great remainder to today, Sagittarius, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. <clears throat> and due to the way things are in the world right now, uh, and I'm not going to get into that. We all know what we're talking about. I decided to choose this quote. We are here to heal, not to harm. We are here to love, not to hate. We are here to create, not to destroy. So why aren't we? See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, Sagittarius.